hello friends welcome to cool it help in this tutorial session we are going to set up gcc with mingw64 in visual studio code so let's take a look of the summary what we are going to do so first we will configure visual studio code to use gcc c++ compiler and gdb debugger from mingw64 after that we will create some test program then we will see how to compile run and debug a sample hello world program so in this notepad you can see we have these seven steps and we are going to perform these steps one by one let's begin don't worry i will explain everything here in detail so let's quick start with the step one open the visual studio code and we are going to install one plugin for c c plus plus so this is our visual studio code on the right hand side and this is the name of the uh, visual studio code extension so go here in the extension search and the same extension name given in the description so you can get it from that place once you put the name in the search box you will see some results so you have to select this one so this is the icon of the extension and now we need to install it plus just click on this install button this will take 5 to 10 seconds for the installation and then you will see this kind of message extension enabled globally in the details section we have all the details about this plugin what are the features that comes by default with this plugin compiler details and other tutorial stuffs also available on the same page now we came back on this notepad and we are going to perform step 2 in the step 2 we are going to install mingw64 tool chain let's understand what is this tool chain we are going to download the latest version of mingw w64 which gives up to date native build of gcc mingw w64 and other helpful c++ tools and libraries once we will get the necessary tool then we will be able to compile the code debug it and we can configure it to work with the intellisense in front of you this is the download link same link is present in the description you can copy open the browser and put it and press enter you can see the file will start downloading once the downloading is done you will have this kind of exe file simply double click on it to run after that you will see the very first window ms ys to setup click next and this will show you the installation location so i would recommend do not change it leave thing leave this as it is click next again click next and you will see this kind of progress bar we have to wait till the progress bar complete okay finally we will get this message uh with the check box click finish once you finish you can see ucrt64 terminal okay now we again come back here and here on the terminal we need to run a command that will show you the software that we are going to install paste the command press enter and then you will see like uh these are the utilities or the packages available for the installation press enter then this will ask you for you want to proceed or not type yes press enter and then you will see the progress packages is start downloading here and these packages will be unzipped and will be set up on your system for use make sure you are connected to the internet 
if you have a good speed so this process will not take much time once the downloading is finished you will see the prompt okay now we are back here step 2 is completed in the step 3 we need to set up the minji w w64 bin folder path to the path environment variable inside the windows for that i will show you how you can do it okay first you have to go to the c drive and then you will find this kind of folder msys64 after that you have to look for the folder ucrt64 then go to the bin so you will get this path now go to the windows search type edit environment variable select the option click on it and then you will have the system properties window click on the environment variables come here in the system variables section we have path entry click on the edit at the very last we will create one entry and paste the path see this click ok and close rest of the windows great so we have completed step 3 properly now in the step 4 we will check the min gw installation for that we have to open this command prompt and then we will simply type three different commands to test these setups are properly working or not so first one is gcc space hyphen hyphen version press enter and then you will see this kind of message copyright 2023 free software foundation then you will uh, type the second command g plus plus space hyphen hyphen version press enter again you will get the message after that you will type gdb space hyphen hyphen version press enter and then you will see this kind of messages this shows that gcc g plus plus and gdb installation is done properly and there is no problem in the setup great till step 4 we have done everything properly now we are going to follow the step 5 in the step 5 5 we are going to create a hello world a simple program in the visual studio code uh, and we will write some c++ code so if you want to create the project directory so you can simply do the same thing from the command prompt and then from the command prompt you can give a single command and that will open your visual studio code with the current project directory so that a demonstration i will show you so suppose i am here in this folder and i have just opened the cmd at the same path okay now by typing few commands which are very basic commands of the command prompt first one is mk directory to create a directory so i am creating the projects directory which will be the parent directory of our uh, project folders okay now i went inside the projects directory here i will create another folder which will be treated as our project folder So I will create hello cool IT help. Okay, so this folder is created. Now I will go inside this newly created folder by typing this cd command. Great. Okay, now if you want to launch the Visual Studio Code, we have a simple command code space dot. Once you press enter, you will see Visual Studio Code will appear. And the same folder will be opened here in the explorer okay here the case is little bit different in this case 
this workspace will be the separate workspace and again we have to install the C++ plugin and we need to activate it okay in this step one we have done that process the purpose of showing this way that this is this process exists and we can take the benefit or the advantage if we want to do a vs command prompt okay and uh, in the step six i will show you the different way as well because we have created the project folder and we can simply open the pro that created project folder inside the visual studio code as well after that we will create a simple cpp c++ class file c++ file in the visual studio code so this is the first workspace which we have created with the help of command prompt so i'm going to uh, write a simple code here with the c++ syntax these are the has include directives and we have the main method and here we have a vector string vector as a string in which we are trying to concatenate all the uh, words and we will finally print the complete sentence so this is saved here okay now in this step 7 we will see how to run it Pro to run the program the process is very simple you have to go on the top run menu you have these three options you can choose any one first one is for the debugging when you click on the run code file the uh, code will be executed and uh, you will encounter this kind of error this is little weird but we are getting this error okay so how to fix it we simply exit from the visual studio code and we will launch the instance of the visual studio code again what happened because we installed the plugin and we have not started our the visual studio code sometimes it is recommended when you face this kind of weird messages or the problem please restart your visual studio code once and then come back and run your program and then that problem will be disappeared see this code execution successfully done now you can choose this run code see this execution successfully done again you can also do the right click and select the run code you will get the same results so we have the options here to run it also once the build is done that corresponding .exe file will be generated so guys this is the all about how to set up the gcc with minji w w64 inside the visual studio code i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate also you can subscribe our channel to learn more thanks for watching cool it help